Okay, so this is the uh, solution sheet for the paper I have posted earlier in the week. So question one, 81 to the power of minus 3 over 4. So if you flip the fraction in the index, so it'll be 625 over 81 to the 3 over 4, which becomes 5 over 3 cubed, which is 125 over 27, which is question A. And then question B, 27 a to the 6 b to the 12 c to the 9 to the power minus 2 over 3 is same as 1 over 27 a to the 6 b to the 12 c to the 9 to the power 2 thirds which is same as 1 over 9 a to the 4 b to the 8 c to the 6 question 2 rationalizing so 2 plus root 3 over 1 minus root 3 times 1 plus root 3 over 1 plus root 3 which becomes 2 plus 2 root 3 plus root 3 plus 3 over 1 minus 3 which is 5 plus 3 root 3 over minus 2 question 2 b 4 minus 2 root 5 over 2 plus 3 root 5 times 2 minus 3 root 5 over 2 minus 3 root 5 which is 8 minus 12 root 5 minus 4 root 5 plus 30 over 4 minus 45 which is 38 minus 16 root 5 over minus 41. Question 3, part A, y equals x to the third, x to the half, minus 2 x to the two fifths. So dy dx equals to one third x to the minus two thirds, half x to the minus half, four fifths x to the minus three fifths. Question B, y equals to x cubed minus three, x squared plus one, which opens up to 2x to the 5, 2x cubed, minus 3x squared, minus 3, so dy dx equals to 10x to the 4, plus 6x squared, minus 6x. Question 4, part A. Integral of 3x to the 5, minus 4x to the 4, minus 5x squared dx, which is half x to the 6, minus 4 fifths x to the 5, minus 5 thirds, x to the cube plus c. Okay, so here we have integral of x plus 5 times 2x squared minus 5 dx. So first thing you have to do is open the brackets. So it's integral of 2x cubed minus 5x plus 10x squared minus 25 dx. And that integrates to half x to the 4 minus 5 over 2x squared plus 10 over 3x cubed minus 25x plus c. Okay, so those are the questions for A and for B. And if we go to question for C now. Okay, so in this question, there is a section that you cannot do under the C1 syllabus. So I will go through that thoroughly. So this is the question. Root x plus 5, root x plus 3 of x squared dx, integral of all that. So when you open the brackets, it becomes x plus 3 root x plus 5 root x plus 15 over x squared dx, which is integral of x plus 8 root x plus 15 over x squared dx. That is integral of x to the minus 1, 8 x to the minus 3 over 2 plus 15 dx. Okay, now I know x to the minus 1 integration is not part of C1, so you can ignore that part and you can do marks for the rest of the questions if you got the rest of the question right. But in the integral of x to the minus 1 is ln x. I know most of you don't know what that is. Just ignore that for the time being. So it would be minus 16x to the minus half plus 15x plus c. Okay, so this is the sequence question. So u6 equals to 27,000. u9 equals to 31,500. Now remember, 2,000 is the first term. So 2,005 will be the sixth and 2,008 will be the ninth. So the equations are a plus 5d equals 27,000, a plus 8d equals 31,500. So if I subtract equation 2 from 1, or rather 1 from 2, so that is 3d equals 4,500, so d equals 1,500. And sub d into equation 1, so it becomes a plus 5 bracket 1,500 equals 27,000, so a plus 7,500 equals 27,500. 27,000 actually. Let me just correct that. I have done just the question right, but let me just correct that. Okay, so it's 27,000. So A equals to 27,000 minus 7,500, which is 19,500. So the starting salary was 
19,500. So part B, salary in 2019 is same as the 20th term, so it's A plus 19D, which is 19,500 plus 19 times 1,500, which is 19,500 plus 28,500, which adds up to 48,000. So in 2009, salary equals 48,000. Okay, part C. So the total amount of money earned up to and including 2019, so that is using, we know the last term which is 48,000, so we could use a formula, SN equals N over 2 A plus L, so S20 equals 20 over 2, 19,500 plus 48,000, which is 10 bracket 67,500, which is 675,000. So the total by 2019 equals 675,000 pounds. Okay, so question six. So let's have a look. So question six A. So f of two x. It should be two x here. F of two x is basically all the x coordinate halved. So it'll be minus one four zero zero one minus two, and then draw the graph like that. And this one is f of minus x, so all the y coordinates are reversed or minused, so it would be minus 2 minus 4, 0, 0, 2, 2, so it goes the other way around. And then this one is all the y coordinates halved and then added 1, so half of 4 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so that coordinate is minus 2, 3. Half of 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, so it's 0, 1. Half of minus 2 is minus 1, plus 1 is 0, so it would be 2, 0, so the curve is like that. Okay, so we go to question 7 now. So question 7. <coughs> so we have to solve this quadratic equation three ways. So first of all, factorizing. So 3x squared minus 5 plus 2 equal to 0. So the factors are 6. So it has to be minus 3 and minus 2. So it'll be 3x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. 3x bracket x minus 1 minus 2 bracket x minus 1 equals 0, x minus 1, 3x minus 2 equals 0, so x minus 1 equals 0, or 3x minus 2 equals 0, so x is equal to 1, or 3x is equal to 2, which is x is equal to 2 thirds. Now, I know some of you may factorize directly, but either way, this is the actual proper method, but if you can factorize directly, that's, that's all right, as long as you do it correctly. Now, here I'm using the quadratic formula for this. So 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals to 0 is the question. So a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 5, c is equal to 2. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Guys, always write this equation down. You might get a mark or two. You might get a mark actually if the rest of the question is wrong for you. At least you get a mark for correctly identifying the correct quadratic formula. I know it's at the front of the paper or in the formula sheet, but still you should write it down, I think. So x equal to 5 plus or minus root of 25 minus 4, 3, 2 over 6. So this is 5 plus or minus root 25 minus 24 over 6, which is 5 plus or minus root 1. And it simplifies to the same answer as you see. I'm going to have to hurry a little because I've only got 10 minutes and the time is running out. So 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 equals 0. Now this time I'm completing the square. I divide it by 3 first of all throughout. And then I half the middle number and I complete the square, as you see. So x minus 5, 6 squared minus 25 over 36 plus 24 over 36. And then x minus 5 over 6 squared minus 1 over 36 equal to 0. And then I carried on and simplified. And as you see, you get the same answer at the end. Okay. Question 8. So now they're completing the square question. Now here it's not an equation, so you can't just divide it through, so you have to factorize it by 2. And try not to get the last number involved, because that doesn't need to come into the bracket. So it'll be 2 bracket x squared minus 7x over 2, plus 7. And then 2 bracket bracket x minus 7 over 4 squared minus 49 over 16, plus 7. It'll be 2 bracket x minus 7 over 4 squared minus 49 over 8, plus 56 over 8, which is 2 bracket x minus 7 over 4 squared plus 7 over 8, so p is equal to 2, q is equal to minus 7 fourths, r is equal to 7 eighths. Question 9, so un plus 1 equals 2 un minus 3, u1 is equal to 2, so u2 is equal to 2 u1 minus 3, that gives you 1, u3 is equal to 2 u2 minus 3, that gives you minus 1, u4 is equal to 2 u3 minus 3, that gives you minus 5, 
and part B 